Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk and this is part 7 of Iron Man's Hands. So, in the previous parts I've made this palm plate which clips on with magnets. I've 3D printed the fingers and I've actually glued them on the glove now. So, um, the basic plan is that I've got this magnetic thing on the back of the hand. Now this was going to attach to the fingers so the plastic pieces went on over the glove but now it's not really in use. Um, because the fingers are glued onto the glove. So in one of the previous parts, in fact it's part six, I attached the hand plate to the cuffs of the suit um, with kind of a hinge so that it can flex. But a lot of people pointed out that wasn't correct and in fact it should be attached to the back of the hand. Um, so basically as you turn your hand in the cuff, the hand plate can flip around with it. So. Um, obviously I've got these spare magnets on the back, so it seems a shame not to use them. And I also quite fancy putting the laser weapon into the hand plate, which we saw the showdown at the end of Iron Man 2. So, uh, for this, this arm I've actually removed the hand plate, and it's now in two pieces. And that's going to fit onto the back here. So the previous mechanism was a simple hinge, which I 3D printed. But now I need to build something rather more complicated so that um, the hand plate can hinge back this way. And when I put my hand down, it can lift up and then I can have a row of red LEDs which shine out um, towards the front. So I need to design a new mechanism for that. And let's have a look at some CAD. So here is my CAD diagram, which I've drawn in Autodesk 123D, which is free software. Basically we've got a double ended hinge, so it pivots at this point and at this point. This one goes at the hand plate and um, actual joint position and this one goes back under the hand plate towards the cuff. So that uh, basically this front mechanism can drop downwards and that will reveal the LED holder which is this piece which will have a row of four LEDs in it. So I'm going to 3D print that and then we'll have a look at it in real life where hopefully I'll be able to explain it a bit better. So here are the pieces printed, here's my LED holder which will eventually go under here and hopefully what we want is for that to uh, show there or, and this to hinge still this way. So here's the rest of it, so we've got um, a hinge at one end and a hinge at the other end. So. This piece should fit on here to allow this hinge and then the other hinge points will be fitted under here. So that should allow this to lift and also for this to bend if we get the positions right. So I'm going to glue those on in roughly the right positions. Hopefully we can see a better demonstration. Alright so I fixed the mechanism in there so you can see it's got this double hinged piece. Uh, which basically means that my hand can hinge back this way and also this can pop up so that the uh, laser weapon can be revealed from under there. So this piece will be stuck just in there eventually with the lights wired in. So looking at the rest of the hand obviously we need to fix it on here somewhere which is the next stage but uh, I can bend my hand right back and when I bend it forward that piece naturally drops out, which is exactly what we need. So I just need to develop the mechanism to mount this onto here and decide if I need any springs in here so that uh, nothing weird happens like that. So the next piece I've made is this little bracket that fits in here, which has, uh, has got two angled pieces to hold the hand plate at the right angle and I've built this piece which screws onto there and this piece latches onto the piece on the back of the glove. So uh, you'll notice I've attached some wires there which I managed to solder onto the washers eventually and that's so that I can use these points to conduct electricity 
to power the laser weapon which is going to be under the hand plate. So I just need to screw this on here. So here it is all together. Let's just pop this on the back. So the action there seems to be pretty good. The only issue is when I put my hand forward, this doesn't pop up as I expected it to due to the cuff. So I think what I need is some means of holding this on here, possibly with a magnet on the front and the back, just so it catches it and it lifts up, and then the laser weapon can be seen that way, and uh, the plate flips back when I do that, which is what, what we need. So after quite a lot of random experimentation with some magnets, so if you remember my arm mechanism does this, so uh, it's quite easy to get inside the sleeve. I've um, rather messily stuck three stacks of two magnets there, which are rare earth magnets. They're 10 by 5 mil with a hole in the middle. I tried one on the end, but it didn't work very well. So I've put them all next to each other. And on the hand plate, I've also placed one magnet, um, which obviously they attract through the suit this way. Um, which has the desired effect. So let me put that back on and I shall demonstrate. So here we are all together again. As we can see, if I put my hand back as before, the hand plate hinges back quite pleasingly. And now if I put my hand forward, the magnets catch the hand plate and cause it to raise, so the laser weapon can be revealed. And obviously that's totally passive, there's no motors or anything like that needed. So it's quite a simple approach. And the next step is to wire in the LEDs, I guess. So that's all wired in now. I've got the LED holder there and I've wired the wires into the two washers. So uh, that fits onto the hand and I've wired each of those magnets. Fortunately, they've got holes in that's made that quite easy. I've run wires around to the bottom of the glove to the arc reactor. So at the moment they're wired into the same cable, they light up at the same time. Um, so let me put this all together in a darkened room and we'll see what that looks like. So here we are all back together again. I've got the battery temporarily in my pocket to power the both the repulsor and the red LED laser weapon, which are both wired together at the moment, but they could be switched individually. Let's just check out that motion again. All right. <laughs> 